What is going on guys, Nasher61 here, and we're back with episode 7 of A Road to a Loss, NHL 12 Versus. And last episode, or episode 5 I believe, I'm not sure which one it is, somebody posted a comment and said, This series is fake, Nasher only posts games that he wins. Now if I did that, what would the point of this series be? It would never end. So I'm just showing you my player hub right now, I am on a pretty good winning streak, and I hope to keep that going. So this is not fake. I am going to post every single game until I lose, and I have had a couple of games against friends, which I've also included. That's why those are not in the player hub, but aside from that, this is all legit. So let's get this thing started. Playing against the LA Kings, the bandwagon fans are back. Uh, I'm not sure if this guy's a bandwagoner, but you got to assume he is, considering they just win the cup. Now it seems like every team I play in NHL 12 is the LA Kings. So back to the gameplay. I've just been dominating throughout the whole game. This is basically a second shot on net. He gets a random shot from the point. He had a nice screen in front, though. I'll give him that, and he ends up scoring. And here I'm getting robbed. I get robbed twice. Almost have a baseball bat, but get robbed again. Another save by Quick, and Quick is unstoppable in this game. Man, he is good. And another big save there. As I said, this game really frustrated me. I feel like EA just wants me to lose. I was not able to score. I went through almost two periods without scoring until I scored this goal here with Taylor Hall. That is a good way to tie it up. Now I feel like I'm really confident. I know I can win it. And watch this here at the end of the period. I get the puck. He makes a nice save. I throw it at the net, and it ends up going in. Watch how close this was to being a goal. As the puck crosses the goal line, it ends up expiring the time. Um, I, if I had another half a second, maybe quarter of a second, that would have been a goal. That would have given me all the momentum going into it. But skipping to the end of the third period, I get absolutely rocked by a hip check interference. And that is going to be a penalty that's going to kill this guy. Watch what he gets here. Um, we have a seven-minute power play, as you can see on the screen. He ends up getting a five-minute game misconduct as well as another interference there to end it. And Dustin Penner is gone for the game. He seems pretty mad about that. And that has a huge influence on this game. Watch what ends up happening. I score a garbage goal here with Nugent Hopkins, just a little rebound in front, but hey, I'll take anything at this point, so I'm going to get the puck up the ice. This is just about a minute later, quick little one-hand move to the backhand and end up finishing it cross-crease. That's a nice little highlight real goal, and another thing to add into the montage, which will be at the end of this series. Now we'll see some horrendous defense by me. He ends up scoring a goal on the PK, and that kind of worries me a little bit because that was about his fourth shot of the game, I believe. And he's scoring pretty much every time he gets a quality chance. So I have got to play some defense here. I end up killing the time. And we win this game. Barely pulling it out. Another comeback. I was down 1-0 at the beginning. But the comeback king is back again. Winning the game 3-2. And look at the stats of this game. Shots 26-7. Time on attack was 12-22 to 2-42 in my favor. So yeah, I completely dominated that game. But the scoreboard didn't exactly show it. 3-2, pretty close game. I'll send him a good game here. I forgot to do it, so I started up a search. So we'll jump right into the next gameplay. Now, who will I be playing now? LA Kings? LA Kings bandwagon? No, we're actually playing San Jose. That's a first. I was happy to see that. At least not everybody's repping the LA Kings now that they won the cup. So we're going to get this started with a quick breakaway. Man, this is a great start, but I end up completely choking. He ends up tripping me up a little bit, and I'm not able to get the shot off. But this game is a lot less stressful than the last game as I get a nice little play here to set it up. Get it up to the point and I find an opening. Look at that screen in front. There's literally four people sitting in front and there's no way he could see that. So I'll pick up one quick goal early. And now just about 30 seconds left in the first. Another goal with Taylor Hall. Oh yeah, before this episode comes to a close, I want to let you guys know I am not going to be doing the Tony Hawk Let's Play. I actually tried it out yesterday, and the game was just too easy for me. I still have my skills from when I played it before, so I was easily able to do everything, and it kind of got boring for me. I want a challenge, so I'm going to try out Skate 3. I posted a thing on my Facebook page, and everyone seemed to like that idea, so I'm going to go with that. Be sure to like my Facebook page and follow my Twitter to receive updates on random stuff like that. I think I'm one like away on my Facebook page from 300 and about 15 or 10 followers away from 300. So if I could reach that soon, that would be great. I'm looking forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It looks like Bitter right here is a little bitter after that game. He quit out once I was up 3-0. 
But still a good game regardless. This series continues on. I still have not lost. And I'll see you guys later.